after the desires. So you are, although you have acquired so many things, but you don't have control over yourself. You are slave of your own desires. So how you can become a king? So this is the thing Indian system says that unless you have the control under you are, your, um, you can say that senses, your mind, if you do, don't have control over them, how you can control the outside? So we give a lot of disciplinary thing that let us have everything in, under your control. And that's why the whole problem in system is that people don't have control on their own self. That's why so many things are happening. And all the wars, you see that what is going on out. People are just uh, led by their desires, that ego, that I am the best, I am the best. And they're killing the human being. You see, any other animal is killing to other elements. But here human being is killing to human being. They made the boundary and they are thinking, I am the best, my country is the best, and killing to other people. They say, what a shocking thing that human being killing the human species and saying that this country is better than that country. God has not given any country. He has just given the earth. But why our desires and our ego, we have created country and we are doing all those nonsense things. And still, and that's why so many negative force I was mentioning. So the root cause is that we have to go back to our root and see that inside out approach should be there. So friends, uh, this was the background what I gave. Now I will move to the very quickly because, uh, sorry for late, I was in the class and uh, then I could, 30 minutes I could not come because it was an active class at 5.30. So I will try to complete this very soon in the uh, given time, stipulated time. But the only thing that first I will talk three habits which are private and then we will move into the public victory which is your three uh, habits and then seventh is the uh, conclusion of that. So shall I move ahead any query, anything, anybody would like to add something if you have if you have to say anything, any any teacher want to add anything, so you are welcome. Kisi ko kuch bolna ho to you can tell. Why see? I hope that is audible. And uh, okay, so no comment. Then I will move. So right now, I am, I am dependent. So right now we are dependent, and once you make the private victory, you will become independent. And once you become independent, then you can go to the public victory and you become interdependent. So then you become the leader. You can do the, uh, you can say interpersonal relations. So without having the private victory, how you can do the interpersonal success? Not possible. Not possible. This is what the whole message is. So, principle of personal leadership. So, first we have to become personal leader and then once you become the personal leader, uh, having those uh, from dependence to in independence, then we can move to the interdependence. So, here what is saying that prepare yourself for interpersonal leadership, build a changeless core from which your attitude and behavior flow. So, unless you acquire those powers, and if you, without acquiring those core, if you are not transforming yourself to take care of those, because once you go to society, you are now being affected by so many things. So many forces are now going to act on you. Okay. So if you have not made a changeless core, then you will be driven by so many other factors and you will not be able to concentrate on your work. Okay. So that's why it is mentioning that personal leadership is very much required. So that is called your maturity continuum that once you are now at present I am dependent and if I acquire this three habits I will become independent and if I acquire further three habits I will become interdependent. So if you raise to yourself to this level then what will happen that your maturity will go. Okay. So you will this is called maturity continuum and uh, this is the character and personality that character means that I have to go to the root of my, my system and personality is outside. 
so this is the difference what i said to become effective we have to go have a good character so you know that uh, this is the famous example that once a british sir asked swami vivekanand what why cannot you wear a proper cloth look like a gentleman so swami vivekanand said that in your culture a tailor makes you a gentleman but in our culture character makes a gentleman so that's why i was mentioning outside by outside symbols outside dress if people look uh, okay so inside only will make you a, a gentleman not the outside so there are many th- people nowadays they are having very good class and very good dress so many things but if you go to inside you will see all the poisons all the things they are having and those people i will not here because this is not a place to to say any negative thing to anybody but you may have seen that people with the very good outside uh, how bad inside they are okay and it's if such people they do get any power or anything what they will do to the society because if you give a power to person who is not having the going to the root of his then that person is a, is a very dangerous for the society that's what happening to the you see that two three countries they are fighting and killing so many people and outside you can see that they are very uh, successful person so we should not we should not you can say be driven by the people who are personality driven we should go by the person who are character have in the good character like swami vivekananda so character and competence so if you have no uh, your root cause root root you are connected to your root then you will have the maturity you will have the abundance mentality means you will not feel any any lackness in your if, even if you don't have anything still you will be happy because you know the power inside you know the hidden treasure what you have inside so you will not uh, run away run to the things which is outside because you know that you have uh, better or more precious thing inside okay so then you will not be in any greed or to satisfy anybody or you will for, for running for any any external things if it comes okay if it doesn't come still you will be saying that uh, i am happy so you will have abundance mentality you will have integrity you will have the maturity so many things will be with you if you have the character now along with character we should have the competence uh, if you are teacher then we should have the competence of the teaching our core subject our experiment whatever we have done we are doing in our business we should have the competence of that so if you are physics teacher chemistry teacher so all the and i am also saying that if you have a good character you will very quickly learn those competence because your your mind is fully satisfied okay your mind is cool calm then whatever you invest wherever you invest you will get the full result right now because our mind is not cool calm we are disturbed so that's why learning competency is also very poor in that way so if we have these two things character and competence then what will happen that people will start trusting you so they will trust you and you will become trustworthy and once you become trustworthy then everybody will trust and this is your maturity that whatever you will say you will become a leader okay so you, you might have seen the leaders of our country that where they have followed what they are saying there is no difference between their saying and their doing they have become their both thing has become same and then people whole country has followed those leaders at the time of freedom struggle you might have seen that one leader would say anything and everybody will start following because he was driven by the character and nowadays so many people are saying so many thing but nobody is following because he is not following the character he is following the personal so that's why nobody is trusting so many advices are coming so many lectures are being given but nobody is following because they know that this person is not a genuine person so what i was mentioning that if you have the character you will have integrity maturity abundance mentality interdependency and if you have the skill technical knowledge qualification technical skill experience if these two things are there then you see that nobody can stop yourself and you certainly will become successful so we have to preserve these two things 
character and competence. If in any profession where you are there, you learn all those competencies of that and maintain your character and then you see the result. So along with this, we need some more thing that is called your emotional bank balance that we should, because we are human being, we are not machine. So we should have that uh, emotional bank balance that if we have made some mistake, we, we should be ready to apologize. We should be loyalty, uh, loyal to the, our system, understanding other people, treat other people kindly. So these are the things uh, that will add to your success. So competence, character, and emotional bank balance. So first habit is that we have to become proactive. Okay, out of the six, first habit is proactive. So what is the meaning of proactive? Proactive means that at present we have, if you, if I give you any situation, any stimulus come before you. So uh, suppose any situation comes, how we are going to make decision in that situation? So what we do? We react basically we don't respond 90 percent time if any situation comes we try to because our conditioning of the past we take decision based on those conditions okay if somebody giving any bad thing to us uh, and immediately we respond in that way we don't give any time to the to our thinking and that is called your uh, reaction not response so if you see 90 percent people they are not responding they are reacting to the situation based on their condition so if you see the western um, philosopher they say that this your response what you are uh, giving it is determined by the genetic determination psychic determination environmental conditions in which the child has been brought up and childhood experience then dna he said that these are determined by these things so you cannot change it if somebody is angry, you cannot change him. If somebody is taking a decision like this, you cannot change. But that is not correct. That is not correct. Now, uh, you see the American modern American philosopher, father of American psychology, James, William James. He came out with the things and he said the greatest discovery is that human being can change his habits. Before that, they would say that you cannot change it. It is the, driven by DNA. But... Our Indian philosophy says, Indian culture says that anybody can change from any bad situation to he, bad person. Any bad person can be changed into any good person. Like you, you have seen, said this story of the Angulimal uh, who met to Buddha. And after meeting Buddha, that person who was a, such a, a wicked person, he became the greatest sage. So same transformation can anybody can take. So we can change our habits but we don't have the courage. So we are what, carrying those habits with us and we are reacting. We are not trying to, uh, you can say that, uh, throw away our old things. We are keeping it like a very costly thing and we are preserving it. So that's why we are not proactive. Proactive means that you know that we are a human being. We are affected by so many things in the society like what is my life experience? Uh, if you see, everybody is bringing it in a different way. Somebody has been very good, uh, means no scarcity, but some of us have a huge scarcity in our childhood. Somebody is deprived of so many things. So it all affects our conditioning. So failure, so many times we have got failure. And uh, heredity, stress, if you remain in a stressful condition for a long time, your habit will be very, very different health issues, somebody is not keeping well in health, his thinking will be very, very different. So we are, as a human being, affected by, you see, n number of parents. That is called the conditioning. And everybody had different conditions. Okay. So that is the, that is affecting what uh, Aristotle said. Because of this conditioning, we have acquired few habits. Okay. And now, that habit, you see what Aristotle is saying, that you are not that habit. You have acquired those habits and you can throw it away. But we don't understand that. We think that we are the habit. But actually, habit is different and you are different. You have acquired this habit and you can throw it out. 
but we are so addicted to smoking that now i feel that i cannot do it i am addicted to so many things that i am helpless although you have acquired it but now you are we have become the slave of those so that's what is saying that you are not the habit habit is different you are different but we now because it has become so you can say that um, closed and it has uh, taken us in such a bundle that now we cannot remove out okay so this is the biggest problem that we are not able to overcome our own habit and we are blaming others and then when we are not able then we will blame others is my situation is because of that person i am in poor condition because he made it but actually it is not actually it is we are responsible for our present condition whatever decision you have taken in your past because of that you are in the present situation today nobody's other decision has made you today like this and if you today take new decision better decision your future will be like that so is that's is called proactive that we have to take responsibility of our current situation but if you talk to anybody he will he will blame other person if he was he has helped me if he has given this i would have been different person it would not because at that time what decision you have taken that was your best decision you said that this is the best for me but had it been best then why your condition is worse it means that was not the best decision you have taken because if that was your past was best decision then today you would not, not landed into the worst condition so we have to think that why we are not affected because something we have made in this some past we have learned something in past we have made some decision in past which has brought me in the current situation okay so i will not go very deep into this because it will become then philosophical but uh, as a routine thing that we have to take the responsibility we have to not blame to other person so friends uh, this uh, uh, there are four power that has been given to the human being okay and first power is that self awareness and uh, you know that this is what the buddha also said that you can examine your thought you can examine your mood you, means you are not your thought you are not your mood you are not your behavior they are different you are different you are better than that you are you have power on your thoughts but now negative thought is putting me into that when thought comes it takes the full control of our system and if negative thoughts come we start feeling like this like in a dream if somebody is seeing some very dangerous dream that somebody is killing me he start like this it is happening really but that is a dream but same thing is we are always in the dream because thoughts are always haunting us and we the moment you say i am not thought that is different let it go do whatever it wants so this is call your self awareness so first power was given to that when somebody is saying to you anything first you check whether it is correct or not but we don't do it immediately we respond if so you are somebody is abusing me i will start abusing that person without thinking that if he is abusing then it is not abusing to whom he is abusing and why should i respond to that person like buddha somebody was abusing to him whole day but he never responded he said you are saying yourself i don't take your abuses so that was your self awareness that you know when to say when to respond when to not and if you are also abusing it means you are reacting it means you are not responding you are reacting to that and that person is now having control over this because he will abuse you will abuse so he is now having the remote control of your system and this is happening there are many people who are having the remote control of other person they will come and praise you false praise and immediately will do the work for you so it means they know that when to emotionally Uh, take uh, this thing take advantage of it so if you are being that it means that you are not proactive you are not able to self awareness you don't have control over your thoughts then second is your imagination that we have to visualize beyond experience so if you have that imagination that what will your future planning uh, how what what you are going to be in next 
10 years, 20 years. That is called your imagination. It's a very big power given to us. So we have to use this imagination power that if I don't succeed in this, in what other, what are the other ways in which I can move? So that why the imagination power is given to us. And it is said that if you have the imagination power, you it will pave the path for the your future growth. But we are not using that power. Then third is your conscience, that what is good and what is bad, what is right and what is wrong. Everybody knows that cigarette smoking is bad for them. But still when that person is taking cigarette and why he is knowing that, it means he is not using his conscience. He know, although right and wrong is given, but knowing this, still we are taking, we are using that. So it means that you don't have that, that power at present, conscience, because habit has overtaken. We are under the control of the habit, so we are not able to appreciate what is right and what is wrong. And then last is your independent will. You have the power when you should that whether I have to respond, I have to start, uh, take decision in this at this moment or not. So that is the will. But we are driven by this. I have to take decision. We can stop also. That is your will. But we our will power is right now very weak. So we are not able to take decision, okay? And then we are driven by that we are not proactive because you don't have control on your thought, you don't have any imagination, you don't have any conscience, and your willpower is also very weak. So these four inner things, that's why I'm talking, we have to go inside, approach. So if a stimulus comes, you have the freedom to choose and freedom is given to you that self-aware, imagine, conscience, and independent will. If you, this passes, if it is worth responding, you respond. If it is not, then you stop. But how many of you have the control? Immediately we'll do, say something. We'll take decision. And that is the reaction. So a person who is proactive will not make any such reaction. He will do the response. So this is the proactive and uh, Proactive means that responsibility, ability to respond. You can you can respond, you can not respond. If you see it is worth, you will do, otherwise you will leave. So the behavior is, for proactive person, behavior is the product of one's decision based on value system. So if it is worth value, then you will respond, otherwise you will not give any time to those things. Okay. So reactive person he is driven by the condition. So he needs some, and he first we have to do the unconditioning, deconditioning of that. And unless you do that, because now we we have to unlearn also. We all we are all very much interested in learning, but we should also be interested in unlearning of few things, whatever the bad things we have learned. But you see everywhere there is the institute of learning, but where is the institute of unlearning? And that is most required nowadays. That there should be some institute who is talking about how to unlearn the activity. But uh, nobody is talking about unlearning. So, if you are a positive person, then you see that your circle of concern, wherever you are there, this is the circle of concern. Suppose you are in some university system, so your university, your circle of concern, and your influence will be will grow like anything because you are proactive. So you will become at certain time, your influence will be throughout the university. People will start knowing you because you are a positive, proactive person. But if you are a reactive person, what will happen? You will shrink. Nobody will talk about you. Your influence will be very, very less. And after some time, nobody will remember that person. So this is the first check that people will start respecting you. So your influence will be very high if you are proactive person. So all the great leaders, you can say Buddha or what sages, they were the proactive person because they have used the power of self-awareness. They have used the power of willpower. So that's why you see that whole world is now uh, worshipping or you see following those leaders, uh, you can say. So this is a famous uh, quote. The illiterate of 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. So if you are learning very fast, but habits, what you are having, 
it should be not be there and if that is also you are learning it means that that person is still ill so we have to learn and learn and relearn so this would be the cycle uh, for the successful person so i hope that proactive i have said in very short way but uh, hope that you you might have got the idea what is the proactive that you should have the control over yours i am not saying that you go very deep into it but at least some control must be exercised when you are going to deal with uh, in the life that when to respond which is worth respond because teachers time is very precious so many people are expecting so many things from you so every you cannot react everything so you should know that when to respond and when to when not to respond. second is that we should have a very clear cut idea that begin with the ends in mind what is the goal we should always be behind our goal we should not be distracted here and there okay so this is the second habit and start with the clear understanding of your destination so whatever destination you have made that you should follow it you should have passion for that and what happened that we have planned but after some time we we don't follow it at the beginning of the year everybody make i will write this paper this book this chapter and uh, this project but at the end you see that we are very much lagging behind so goals is not we are not able to meet the goal so why what is the reason behind so this is the thing that we have to write our vision and mission statement so unless you write your vision we write the vision statement of the university uh, and uh, our college but we don't write a mission statement for ourselves this is the biggest problem that what is your mission statement what do you want to become in 10 years okay so that should be also the from the core of your head you get external money or car or bungalow so whatever but inside also we have to stand up that uh, honesty your value system basically our mission should be changeless core that what should be my value system that uh, i will follow this if other things external thing they will come you if you have a good person why should you worry about the money because when the person who is uh, you can say that uh, who is not honest still is having money then why honest person will survive because we don't have faith in the nature a person who is doing so many harm to the society and he is rich he is enjoying then why not a good person will be able to meet out uh, his requirement so nature will fulfill your requirement but we don't have the faith so if you are honest person you are serving the society you are helpful then not only you whole nature will serve you but that faith we don't have we think that if you don't do those type of thing will not become so that is the biggest thing that we are not able to appreciate our own will power that whatever condition come i will not leave this path and that is our mission statement so there should be center what should be the center of our life why we are working so that center is that people some people are working for the center is my work i like my work work is worship for me so they will dedicate everything for their work somebody center is family somebody center is uh, husband wife somebody center is friendship somebody is fighting for the religion self pleasure that i want pleasure money so these are the centers on which we are working but these centers are not the permanent center okay so we should go the, okay they are there but we should go for the permanent center changeless center okay so that center should be in such a way it should give you security it should give you guidance it should give you power it should give you wisdom suppose somebody is working for the money okay so if money is your center money will give you power money will give you security okay there is no issue but money will not give you wisdom money will not give you guidance and you might have seen there are many rich people they have been so many accustomed so many for the money went behind for money they lost their health and very less time they have died because the whole day if you are working for the money and you are not looking after your health 
because there is no guidance there is no wisdom so that is that center is very dangerous center if you are working for the name and fame then you see after retirement what will you do you will not get name and fame so those are the very very dangerous centers which are going to take you in a very you can say uh, that position where you will never be able to enjoy the life okay you might have seen many people who has been behind these thing uh, the recent example is junjun wala he was a akasha airways owner he was, he was having so much money but he never take, uh, cared about his health and you see that he died in very young age because he was not able to take care of his health so your center should give you wisdom that how much money i need how much uh, because health is very much important more than important uh, more than money is health so center should be chosen very very wisely so that it should give you guidance it should give you wisdom you acquire money but you see at the time of death can anybody take a single penny what will you do with this, uh, that money so those things we said that we need money okay but how much if the whole day we are running about this then you are going to lose other friends okay so um, there is a saying na ki winning battle losing war so if you win a battle and lose the war what is the meaning of that success so why is it will friends uh, please uh, is it Audible to all of you. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So you see, what are you mentioning? You should give you security. You should give you guidance, direction in life. It should give you perspective in life, and you should give you power, decision making ability. So if you are habituated to something, means that you are conditioned to something. They, they should not overpower you. you are the better bigger than money you are the bigger bigger than fame you are the bigger than anything but if you underestimate that if i don't have money i am poor it means that you are underestimating your own power then nobody can save you a person who has uh, negative feeling about himself nobody can lift that person if you have the negative thinking about yourself if you underestimate yourself outside cannot Uh, give you any credit to that so first of all you should know know what is your value like you have might have heard the story of talaster somebody came to him and said i am very uh, puzzled and i want to do suicide so talaster said that you know this is a great sage great saintly person of the russia so talaster said so you want to die okay i have some something for you that you have two eye and if you give one eye one of my friend he will give you this much dollar and then person said no no i cannot give my eye to that then he said you give one kidney you will get this much money he said no 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 i won't won't say and he counted all the parts and it becomes lakhs of the dollar and I, he said talasta you are having this body which is worth so many dollars then you are going to die so you if you don't know the value of your own self then it means that you are the illusion and this is what is happening that we are unhappy not because of others we are unhappy because we don't know ourselves and this is the biggest problem that now who will help you who will help you so this whole society is not uh, uh, means in this situation situation it is because of their own self created thoughts not any other person has done this तो दिस इज दी जिसको बोलते हैं ना कि अज्ञानता दिस इज दी होल सिस्टम बिकॉज ऑफ दी अज्ञान तो दी मोमेंट विल गेट दी प्रॉपर नॉलेज दैट यस दीज आर फॉर मी दे आर नॉट वी आर नॉट फॉर देम दिस थिंग्स आर फॉर मी देन यू विल एबल टू बिकॉज नाउ यू हैव दी पावर यू नो योर वैल्यू So nothing is more uh, valuable than yourself. First of all, you should know that you are the biggest creation of the God. Human being is the last creation of the God. So he is the created by that super power. And 
you are the most precious person on the earth this is the understanding we have to make so i will go now fast so center should be changeless so you we so have to make some principle in our life that i will follow the honesty i will follow the truth and then you do other thing whatever business comes if there is uh, honesty is not there you leave it so whatever activity you do you go for money earn money nobody is stopping you but earn money based on principle do teaching based on your principle don't be guided by other person that he is not teaching nowadays everybody is saying that he is not teaching so why should i do if somebody is not following any principle then you should not be follower of that person you must have your own principle i will not compromise with my principle that is the first thing and then you do all the material business nobody is going to stop you so your center should be changeless core and based on the value system and if you do that uh, then you see that your happiness and success will come you just apply to some way and then you'll see that how this is going to change so principles are the core other things are external so everybody can make their principle in their life i'm not going to here give you any guidance because you know that what what should be the principles what is the changeless core so friends this was the habit number 2 and now if you go to the habit number 3 because these three th habits are very much required for you to become independent independent means you have control on yourself nobody now can any any suppose what is happening that because of the greed if you are greedy anybody can come and uh, you can he can cheat you because you will say you come with me i will give you this much money and this is happening that if you are not having control and you are having uh, this uh, what you i say that wildness that you are feeling unfulfilled you are not fulfilled and then you will follow that that you will go and look after the happiness outside okay and then then now the cheating process starts the moment you go outside and you are feeling unfulfilled inside outside will start uh, sucking the blood and then you can never be independent so third thing is put first thing first so pehle you have to become proactive second you know the mission you know the what is your goal and now first put thing first means which work i have to do first we should know where i should give my maximum energy as you know pareto principle says that 20% activities give 80% output you know that and 80% activities give only 20% out so we have to identify only those 20% and give our best in that we will give the maximum so we should know that which activity i have to take first okay so there are two thing one is called urgent activity and another called important activity so urgent activity means that immediately you have to work and this will give a lot of pressure on you because every time you are in urgency and then your blood pressure you can think of that if so the person is urgent that what will be situation always is stressful always uh, you can say that he will blood pressure will be very high so we have to do important activity not urgent activity and when activity not done properly important activity after some time will become your urgent activity suppose somebody is not taking care of his health and following bad routine and his uh, style is not caring about his health food and then your lifestyle then initially it will be it is important but after some time it will become urgent you have to go to hospital and get treated so if you keep on taking care of your health do meditation proper sleep proper food then it will never become urgent so if you ignore those activities if you ignore those activities one minute so well so if you keep on ignoring the important activity you will become your urgent activity so please don't do that every every day please complete your important activity. let there be no urgency many people many teachers i have seen they are running here and there everything is very urgent and those teachers after some time i have seen they are become the uh, you can say the affected by the blood pressure some type of pressure. so as a teacher you are very valuable to society i want all the teacher to be fit because we give the message if we are a uh, you can say that ill teacher if we are we are not in a good health then what people start thinking that the teachers are not in good health then what society 
So as a teacher, you should be always jolly. You should always be having very good health. And so that's why I say that please do meditation, please do this thing. And once you start following these three activities, I think that 70 to 80 percent of your your problem will immediately be solved. You will become effective because I am following this, and I can say based on my own experience. Uh, is it uh, correct? Uh, anybody would like to say anything? Anybody would like to give any remark on this, what I am saying? Okay. So, this was the first thing that we have to do only the important activity, not the urgent activity. If this is urgent activity, there will be crisis, there will be pressing problem, deadline driven project, and it will result into stress, burnout. So always there will be stress. And if somebody is under stress for long duration, it will affect the, is you, you see that brain functioning and then his thought process. So, so many change will come into the uh, system. So friends, uh, this is the, my request that please complete your important activities and let no activity become urgent. Plan well and you will save much time, save a lot of time. So this was all about this, I will not go in detail. And uh, now moving to the, these are the quadrants. This is said that this is urgent and this is important. So always go for the second quadrant, where the important activity but not urgent. Because you will have better time in planning, value clarification, relationship will be there, so empowerment, so all these things you will be able to. You have sufficient time for preparation, you have sufficient time for the prevention, value clarification. So a good teacher is one who works on the important thing. So if you follow these three habits, I think that you will most likely that if you keep on following, after some time you will become independent. Now nobody can influence you because now your your inner power will come into being, come into the force, and it will start it will start uh, preventing you. It will start helping you. Right now that is that is the hidden. So now once you have done this. A personal private victory. Sir, uh, hello. Yeah, 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 please. Uh, sir, can you explain the second point of the previous slide? Second one, sir. What is this one? No, no, sir. Uh, that uh, uh, prioritizing the schedule. Pri yeah, yeah. Prioritizing the schedule. What I am saying. Uh, uh, what I mean to say that you have to plan uh, your activity so that. You have to see which activity is important and which activity is not yes. important. So, Jesse, Apu Patachal, Jaga, Mary activities, Mira, Merely important because I cannot know that what is your, your area. So, in your, yes. suppose you are a researcher, so you know that these are the journals, these are the papers in which I yes. have published part. So, up whose activity pay up Nego Dian, suppose you are, your papers are pending. And you start doing some yes. other thing, then after six months you will not be able to give the review comment. So, you do that activity, which is important. Sometimes our conditioning, so my mind will say, don't do, we can, we can do later, and all those things. But once you get the power on your thought, so sir, वो complete नहीं हो पाता task. ये सबसे important है. जब आप proactive बनेंगे ना, जब आप थोड़ा सा self aware करने लगेंगे, अभी तो ठीक है. लेकिन आप अभी थोड़ा सा देखिए ये आपको अगर पता चल रहा है ना इट मींस यू आर ऑन द राइट पाथ अगर हमें अपनी गलती पता चल रही है ना सर दैट इज द बिगेस्ट सक्सेस आई थिंक उसको बाद सुधारने में कोई समय नहीं लगता लेकिन यही नहीं पता चलता ना लोगों को कि मेरे से नहीं हो पा रहा तो इट मींस यू आर तो सबसे बड़ी बात है ना कि जैसे हमें पता चल जाए कि यस आई एम रॉन्ग पाथ ना इट मींस नाउ सक्सेस इज गोइंग टू कम तो अभी आपको अभी आप दो तीन देखिएगा थोड़े हाइड्रेशन के बाद यू विल बिकम बेटर एंड बेटर या और ये एक दिन में नहीं आता साहब ये कोई एक दिन में फायदा होगा इट इज अ हैबिट हैबिट है सर प्रोसेस है सर प्रोसेस है तो आफ्टर सम टाइम यू विल बिकम अ बेटर तो नेक्स्ट अभी आप देखिए एक दो महीने में यू विल बी मच बेटर 
सर अपने वैग्स को आइडेंटिफाई करना बहुत बड़ा टास्क है बिल्कुल 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 वही मैं कह रहा हूँ वही मैं अभी अभी सेवेंथ हैबिट में आई विल कंक्लूड आल्सो ओके सर क्या नाम है सर व्हाट इज योर गुड नेम सर माय नेम इज अमित चौधरी अच्छा सर आई एम डूइंग माय पीएचडी इन फाइनेंस फ्रॉम महारिशि यूनिवर्सिटी नोएडा अच्छा ग्रेट तो आप तो फाइनेंस मैनेजमेंट में कर रहे हैं ना तो आप को मैनेजमेंट की स्किल पढ़ाते ही होते हैं इस दो इस चीज यस यस सर ओके वेरी नाइस तो नाउ बिकॉज टाइम इज रनिंग तो आई शुड बी लिटिल बिट फास्ट तो वंस यू हैव गॉट दीस थ्री थिंग्स नाउ वी कैन मूव इनटू द इंडिपेंडेंट नाउ यू गो टू पब्लिक अभी अभी हम पर्सनल पे काम कर रहे थे अब हम जाते हैं इंटरेक्शन हाउ यू इंटरेक्ट टू अदर पर्सन तो अगर आपके पास ये तीन हैबिट आ गई है कि आप प्रोडक्टिव हो गए यू नो कि आप गोल क्या है और कौन सी चीज़ हमें करनी है इतना अगर आपको आइडिया फेयरली गुड आइडिया इज देयर देन नाउ यू कैन डील अदर पीपल वेरी गुड अब क्या होगा सर जब आप दूसरे से डील करोगे तो ऑलवेज ट्राई टू डू दी विन विन सिचुएशन पहला है जब भी किसी से आप कोई डीलिंग करें ऑलवेज ट्राई टू टू हैव दी विन विन सिचुएशन विन विन सिचुएशन मीन्स कि मेरा फायदा भी हो और सामने वाले का भी फायदा हो ऑलवेज डू दैट टाइप ऑफ बिजनेस नेवर कि मेरा फायदा हो दूसरे का नुकसान हो तो आज के लिए हो रहा है कि फॉर माई बेनिफिट अदर्स लास्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यही चल रहा है सोसाइटी में कि जब तक दूसरे का नुकसान नहीं होगा मेरा फायदा नहीं हो सकता दिस इज वेरी बैड कंसेप्ट गरी गोइंग ऑन इन सोसाइटी बट दिस इज नॉट ए करेक्ट एंड दैट्स वाई पीपुल आर इन सच ए बैड कंडीशन क्योंकि उनकी जो माइंड है ना वो ही पलूट हो चुका है कि हाउ टू मेक अदर पीपुल लूज सो वेन एवर यू डील यू गो फॉर दिन विन सिचुएशन एंड अदरवाइज डोंट डू एनी डील डोंट डू एनी डील इन दैट सो सीक द म्यूचुअल बेनिफिट All parties feel good about the decision and feel so. Whatever decision you are going to do, please try to have the win-win situation for that. Okay, so thank you. So, ये क्यों होता है जब when you feel that there is there is lackness. जब हम ये सोचते हैं ना कि अगर हम इस किसी का फायदा होगा तो मेरा नुकसान हो जाए. तो उस समय ना हमारे अंदर ये problem आती है. तो अगर आपके अंदर plenty for everything if you feel that there is plenty for everything nature has given plenty to everybody lekin agar hamare man mein aayegi nahi bahut cheeze kam hai agar maine kisi ki help kare to mera nuksan ho jayega aur isko bata dunga to mera nuksan ho jayega so in that condition you will never able to do the uh, interpersonal successful interpersonal relationship to pehle aap ye sochiye ki aap jab dete ho kisi ko ye mat socho ki aapka nuksan ho God has given plenty to everybody, and always cooperate with other person. दूसरा cooperate ना करे, okay, let him. It is his business. But आप अपने मन में कभी भी किसी के last के बारे में नहीं सोचें. हमें सबके बारे में अच्छा ही सोचना है. भले सामने वाला क्या सोच रहा है, you don't have any control. और अगर ऐसी situation हो कि last के बिना आपका काम नहीं चलता, तो leave it. चाहे आपका कितना भी फायदा हो रहा है, don't go into that business. क्योंकि वो बताते हैं कि अगर इस time का अगर आप success लाते हो, तो हो सकते हैं 10 साल में ब्याज के साथ खत्म तो नेवर ट्राई टू टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ एनी पर्सन इन पर्सनल लाइफ दिस इज द फर्स्ट रूल दैट इज कॉल्ड विन विन कंडीशन सो लिसन मोर स्टे इन कम्युनिकेशन लॉन्गर एंड कम्युनिकेट सो दिस रिक्वायर सर करेज अगर आपके पास करेज होगा तभी आप ये काम कर पाएंगे अदरवाइज यू कैन नॉट डू जिसके पास करेज नहीं है वो तो अरे मैं इसका किसी को दूंगा तो मेरा तो बहुत नुकसान हो जाएगा आई विल बिकम बेगर मैं नहीं देख किसी की हेल्प कर सकता एंड दिस पर्सन दे आर ऑलवेज इन दी मेंटल दिस इज कॉल्ड मेंटल डिजीज वेयर वन पर्सन वांट टू टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ अदर पर्सन 